Hello everyone. We will take in this lecture examples on the reduction formula 1 and 2. In the last two lectures we have studied reduction formula 1 and reduction formula 2. Now let's take example based on those reduction formula. So let's start with the first example. It is very important example. Show that integration of sin raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2 is same as integration cos raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2 is equals to n minus 1 into n minus 3 dot 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 upon n into n minus 2 into n minus 4 dot 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 into this entire fraction is multiplied by pi by 2 only if n is even. Now we will find the solution of this or let's prove this. Okay, so what we will do is we will start with this integration of sin raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2. We will show that this integration is nothing but this fraction. Okay, and using the same method you can show that integration of cos raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2 is equals to this fraction. So you can apply the same method whatever method we are applying for the integration of sin raised to nx dx. Okay, so let's move to the proof of this. So, we have a reduction formula for sin raised to nx dx. What is that reduction formula? It is integration sin raised to nx dx is equals to sin raised to n minus 1 into cos x upon n plus n minus 2 upon n integration sin raised to n minus 2x dx. Okay. So, what but here we do not want integration of sin raised to nx dx. What we want is integration of sin raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2. So, if you see here in the reduction formula there are no limits but in the exact sorry in the example there are limits given it is from 0 to pi by 2. So, let us put the limits to this integration limits are 0 to pi by 2. So, whenever we are putting limits on the left hand side, we will put the same limits to the right hand side. So, here limits from 0 to pi by 2, here limits from 0 to pi by 2. Okay. So, now just evaluate the first term which is there here. So, what will happen if we put the limits? So, when I put the upper limit, we know that cos pi by 2 is 0. Okay. So, whenever we are putting the upper limit, the value of this entire part will be 0 and whenever we are putting the lower limit we know that sin 0 is 0 so again whenever we are putting the lower limit this term is 0 so even if you put upper limit or lower limit this term will vanish so we are left with only this so this term will go now so we are left with n minus 1 upon n integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to n minus 2 x dx now, what I will do is, I will convert this integration into the notation form. So, I will call this integration sin raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2 as i n. So, then this integration will be equals to i n minus 2. So, we have here n minus 1 upon n i n minus 2. So, just remind the notation that we are taking integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to nx dx as i n. So, instead of n here we have n minus 2. So, the notation will be i n minus 2. Okay. So, basically we have here this reduction formula in the notation form. i n is equals to n minus 1 upon n into i n minus 2. So, this is my reduction formula in the notation form. Okay. So, let us apply this formula recursively. Now, there are two cases for the n n can be even it can be odd so let's take cases one by one so let's take case one n is odd okay so we have here i n is equals to n minus one upon n i n minus two now to evaluate this i n minus two we will apply the same reduction formula so in this same reduction formula instead of n you put n minus two so, here instead of n we are putting n minus 2. So, it will be n minus 2 minus 1. So, that will be n minus 3. Here instead of n we are putting n minus 2. And this will be then n minus 2 minus 2. So, it will be n minus 4. So, we will repeat this dot 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 up to. Now, the 
since n is odd the next possible odd number is 5 so i5 will be what in the same deduction formula you put n is equals to 5 what do we get 5 minus 1 is 4 upon 5 here this will be i3 again i3 will be what Again you evaluate I3 by using the same reduction formula. So you put n is equals to 3. So it will be 3 minus 1 is 2 upon 3. Then I 3 minus 2 is 1. Now here we have evaluated I3 in terms of I1. Now let us evaluate I1. I1 will be equals to. We put this equals I1 is equals to basically what? Now we will not apply the reduction formula here. Why? See, if I put 1 here in the reduction formula, what will I get? 1 minus 1. So, this term will go. So, we will get 0 here. So, instead of that, let us take our formula, uh, our notation. So, I n is basically integration of sin raised to n x dx. So, here we have sin raised to 1 x dx. So, it is sin x dx limits from 0 to pi by 2. Now, we know that integration of sin x is minus cos x and then you give the limits 0 to pi by 2. So, value of i1 will be equals to what? Now, you put upper limit cos pi by 2 we know that this is 0 and then minus cos 0 is 1. So, minus of minus 1 it is plus 1. Now, we have evaluated all the possible values of i n s. Okay. So, what we will do is we will back substitute this values and see what will be what we will get. So, i n is equals to. So, i n is basically what n minus 1 upon n into we have here i n minus 2. So, what is i n minus 2 basically? It is n minus 3 upon n minus 2 into. Now, this process will go dot 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 then we have i5 here i5 is 4 by 5 into i3 what is i3 basically it's 2 by 3 times i1 so it is 2 by 3 times i1 and what is value of i1 is 1 okay so i will just summarize this so i n is equals to n minus 1 into n minus 3 so let's put the numerator together so dot 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 4 into 2 into 1 divided by here n into n minus 2 dot 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 5 into 3 to 1. So, whenever n is odd, we get this result. Now, let us prove the second case. That means what happens if n is even. Okay. Now, the second case is n is even. So, we know that we have this reduction formula with us i n is equals to n minus 1 upon n i n minus 2. Okay. So, let us apply this formula. Now, to evaluate i n, we need to find value of i n minus 2. So, let us find out value of i n minus 2 using the same reduction formula. Here again, instead of n, you put n minus 2 everywhere. So, we get n minus 3 upon n minus 2. Then i n minus 2 minus 2 so that becomes n minus 4. Now again we need value for i n minus 4. So again use the same reduction formula that we have. So instead of n here you put n minus 4. So we get n minus 4 minus 1 will be n minus 5. In the denominator we have n minus 4. Here we have n minus 6. Now we will repeat this process till we get the last possible value. So, here now since our n is even, so what is the last possible value that is i2. So, what will be i2 then? Instead of n here, you put 2, 2. So, we get 2 minus 1 is 1 upon 2. Then i instead of n, we are putting 2 now. So, 2 minus 2 will be 0. Okay. Now, to evaluate i2, we need to find value of i0. Okay. So, what is i0 basically in terms of integration? It is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 0 x dx. So, just remind our notation that we have used i n basically integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to n x dx. So, we are just applying this notation here. 
So I naught is integration 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 0 x dx. So let's evaluate this I naught. So sin raised to 0 is basically 1. So integration dx we have here 0 to pi by 2. So evaluate it. Put the limits. We know that integration of dx is x 0 to pi by 2. And then after evaluating we get value to be pi by 2. Now we are back substituting this value that means you put value of i0 here in i2 then value of i2 here and then keep doing it till you get value for i n. So let's do it check what we get. So i n is equals to n minus 1 upon n into now i n minus 2 we have here. So what is the value of i n minus 2 it is n minus 3 upon n minus 2. So put it n minus 3 upon n minus 2 into i n minus 4. So what is value of i n minus 4? It is n minus 5 upon n minus 4. I keep doing it dot dot dot. Next we have i 2 it is 1 by 2 and lastly we have i naught that is nothing but pi by 2. So into pi by 2. So just summarize it. You put the numerator together. So you have this. And in the denominator, we have this dot 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 into lastly we have pi by 2. Okay, so this proves the case. That is when n is even, we have this fraction multiplied by pi by 2. And when n is odd, we do not have this pi by 2 into the picture. We only have this fraction of numbers. Okay, so with this, this is the end of example 1. Okay, now we will start with the next example based on the reduction formula 1 and reduction formula 2. So here we have to integrate. First is integration sin raised to x, d, sin raised to 4x dx. And the second example is we have to find value of integration 0 to pi by 2 of cos raised to 6x dx. So let's solve these problems one by one. So let's take the first problem. We have to find value for integration of sin raised to 4x dx. Now to find value of this integration, we have the reduction formula for sin. Okay. So what is that reduction formula? I have already written this reduction formula here. It is integration of sin raised to x dx is equals to sin raised to n minus 1x into cos x upon n plus n minus 1 upon n integration of sin raised to n minus 2x dx. Okay, so to evaluate this, what we have to do is, instead of n, you have to just 4 here in the formula. Okay, so let's do it. We have to find integration of sin raised to x dx. Now to find this value, we will apply this reduction formula. And in the same reduction formula, instead of n, we are putting 4 value. Okay, so let's put the 4 value here. So what do we get here? 4 minus 1 is 3. So it is sin cube into cos x upon 3 plus instead of n you put 4 4 so it is 4 minus 1 is sorry here we are putting 4 so it is 4 minus 1 is 3 instead of n you put 4 then we have here integration of sine raised to instead of n we are putting 4 so it will be sine square x dx okay so now we have got value for integration of sin raised to 4x dx in terms of integration of sin square x dx. Now again we will find out value of this integration by using the same reduction formula. Okay, so let's find it. Integration of sin raised to 2x dx. So in the same integration formula instead of n you put 2 2. So here we have sin raised to 2 minus 1 is 1 so it is sin x cos x upon instead of n we are putting 2 then here plus 2 minus 1 is 1 upon 2 integration sin raised to again 2 minus 2 is 0 dx now let's evaluate this integration okay so integration of sin raised to 0 x dx so basically it is what it is integration dx and that is nothing but x now to evaluate the sin raised to 4x we will back substitute the values that means i will put value of sin raised to integration of sin raised to 0 x dx here then i will put value of sin 
integration of sin square x dx here and then I will get the final value for integration of sin raised to 4x dx. So let's find it. Integration of sin raised to 4x dx is equals to sin cube x into cos x upon 4 plus 3 by 4 into now I will put value of integration of sin square x dx it is what is this it is sin x cos x upon 2 plus half integration of now I will put value of integration of sin raised to 0 x dx here so value of integration of sin raised to 0 x dx is nothing but x so it is x so what I will do next is I will just open this bracket and then I will write a linear form of this equation. So sin cube x cos x upon 4 then plus 3 sin x cos x upon 4 into 2 is 8 plus then 3 x then 4 into 2 is 8. So this is the value of sin raised to 4x dx we have. So with this, this is the for end of the example 1. Now let's solve the second example which we have with us. That is we have to find the value of integration 0 to pi by 2 of cos raised to 6x dx. Now if you remember the very first example that we have studied. It is what? Integration 0 to pi by 2 cos raised to nx dx is equals to n minus 1 into n minus 3 dot 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 upon n into n minus 2 into n minus 4 dot 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 and this fraction is multiplied by pi by 2 only if n is even. So we will be using this entire formula in this example to find out the value of integration of 0 to pi by 2 cos raised to 6x dx. Okay, so let's do it. So we have to find value of integration of 0 to pi by 2 cos raised to 6x dx. Now instead of n we have 6 here. Now we know that 6 is an even number. So surely we have this fraction into pi by 2. So let's evaluate this fraction first. Okay. So we have 6 here. So let's put it. So 6 minus 1. Then we have 6 minus 3. Then we have 6 minus 5. Okay. Divided by 6 then 6 minus 2 then 6 minus 4 and then this multiplied by pi by 2 because we know that n is an even number okay because n is 6 here so let's simplify the fraction so we have here 6 minus 1 is 5 into 6 minus 3 is 3 and 6 minus 5 is 1 in the denominator we have 6 then into we have 6 minus 2 is 4 we have then 6 minus 2 is 6 minus 4 is 2 into pi by 2 okay so this is nothing but this is 15 we have and then here we have t and in the denominator we have 48 into pi by 2 so this is the value of 0 to integration 0 to pi by 2 of cos raised to 6x dx okay and in the same way you can find out the value of integration of 0 to pi by 2 sin raised to 6x dx because we know that the this fraction is nothing but integration 0 to sin raised to nx dx limits from 0 to pi by 2 so even if you have cos or even if you have sin the value of fraction is going to be the same Okay, so with, with this, this is the end of example 2. So in the next lecture, we will see reduction formula 3. So stay tuned for the more videos, like, share and subscribe and comment. 